I used to take myself out on dates Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate Sometimes I'd even get the steak Cause I got it like that, always have my own bag, never need no man Hi my lovelies, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing amazingly well. So in today's video, I'm going to be bringing you some Middle Eastern bangers. But before I start this video, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Kindly give this video a huge thumbs up and let me know what your scent of the day is. I have lots of amazing Middle Eastern perfumes here. Some were sent to me in PR, some I bought with my own coins and I just want to share how much these perfumes have been bringing me joy as you know I love my niche perfumes that will never ever change I love designer perfumes but I'm trying to open my palette a little bit I'm trying to also bring you guys more affordable options because a lot of people have been asking me for my take on the Middle Eastern fragrances the ones that I like I'm really picky in general when it comes to perfumes so these ones i'm going to share are ones that i personally wear i've gotten compliments and i genuinely love starting with club de nuit imperial now this perfume smells very identical to my beloved delina exclusive by performs de mali this one right here now I would always wear this perfume. I will always own this perfume. I have backups of this perfume because it's my favorite perfume in the whole entire world. So when some of you guys told me to get my nose on this, to be honest, I was skeptical, but I'm so glad I gave this one a chance. This smells more in the dry down like Delina exclusive. The opening is a little bit sharper. It's a little bit more pungent and less refined which is as expected but once all of that dies down the dry down is absolutely insane now this is rose creamy um powdery powerful 10 hours plus it gets compliments and it is affordable well at least in comparison to delina exclusive i would genuinely say if you cannot afford or you don't feel like delina exclusive is worth the coin then i definitely would recommend club denuit imperial now this next perfume is marketed towards men but there's something about this perfume that personally blew me away and this is club denuit intense man now this is supposed to be a dupe for um creed aventus now I love this on my husband. This, this perfume is sexy. This perfume is amazing. Yes, it has been reformulated, but it still smells the same. It's just the longevity is not like it used to be. I really, really love this perfume. But when I smelled this, I thought, oh my, this is a close dupe. To me, this is like a very fruity, citrusy, spicy kind of scent. It smells incredible. It has amazing longevity. And these bottles are so heavy. They're so heavy. They are worth, not even, they should be a little bit more expensive than they are because I cannot believe the quality of the juice, the quality of the bottle. I highly recommend this one. So you can get this for your man and get this one for yourself on a date night. These two are so beautiful. Honestly, I feel like I'm going to actually dive a little bit more into our mouth perfumes. I feel like these two, has definitely opened up my palette and I love these. The next perfume is Mirage Exclusive. This is meant to be a dupe for the Bewitching Yasmin by Penhaligans. And you guys know how much I love this brand, how much I love Yasmin right here. This is like my third bottle. I love all of the portraits collection. So when I smelled this, I didn't think it smelled like Yasmin. I can't lie. I didn't think it smelled like it. Maybe I was in denial. I don't know what it was. But this has sat in my collection for, I want to say, at least three months. So I sprayed it last week. And I was like, excuse you? <laughs> what? Like, how did the scent get so beautiful? And yes, it's quite identical to Yasmin. It's not 100%. I don't think any dupe would be 100%. I don't think they can. But this is definitely close. Now, this is a rose, a spicy, oody kind of scent. Super long lasting, super projecting. It smells unreal, honestly. The only thing I will say is don't overspray this because when you do, there's a smokiness that kind of 
chokes me in the throat like i feel like i need to cough and sneeze at the same time but once all of that dies down this smells really really good the bottle is amazing the packaging that it came with is amazing you cannot go wrong if you like your rose oud combo this is a really good one to check out the next perfume is luscious by french avenue this as you guys can see this is a dupe for Yum Pistachio Gelato by Kayali. Um, I don't know if they're meant for it to be a dupe, but they smell alike. Like I have the original perfume here, the Yum Gelato, which has lots of beautiful notes, um, hazelnut, pistachio, um, whipped cream, marshmallow, um, cotton candy. But to me, this is a really creamy scent. The pistachio is not so strong. It's meant to resemble a gelato ice cream which it definitely does this has gotten better in my collection i will add but this one that pistachio is not missing here that pistachio here is very prominent it's very strong it's quite creamy this one is a little bit more um easier on the nose it's really likable it's very long lasting it smells incredible this will be perfect for date night i feel like because it's a kind of light fluffy type of scent it may not be the strongest scent for the cold weather but you could try it then i've only tried this towards the end of spring and like in the autumn and i feel like it holds really well during this time of the year i cannot wait to try in the winter i just want to see if i'll still smell it because for young pistachio in the winter i i couldn't smell it like i could not it was so light and fleeting so i wonder if this one will do it but anyway this is an amazing pistachio perfume that smells incredible i love the bottle as well and the price points are quite large this is what 79 pounds and this works out to around about 35 so half price this is 50 mil and this is 100 mil so make of it what you will um so once again this is luscious by french avenue the next perfume is a Sharaf blend by Zimaya. I freaking love this bottle. It's so, so stunning. Now this one is meant to resemble Angel Share, which I have right here. And I love this. I cannot lie to you guys. I do love this more than this, but this one is not as boozy and it's sweeter. And I wouldn't say they are even 80% dupes, maybe like 70%, maybe even 65% dupes, because I find this to be very strong on the cognac and really, really woody and cinnamony. Whereas with this, I find it to be much sweeter, less boozy. You do get that cinnamon type vibe, but it just smells sweet, creamy, soft, but really strong. And dare I say, it has an elegant scent to it. Coco Peps has a discount code on this perfume. I believe this is 35 to 40 pounds with her discount code, which is 15%. Don't quote me, but I'll, I'll put it up there on the screen. You can get this for even cheaper. This perfume is worth it. Best believe, I usually don't recommend blind buying, but you could blind buy this one. If you like the DNA of Angel Share, you are going to absolutely love sharaf blend the next perfume is casablanca by swiss arabian this perfume has been in my collection for so long i'm actually gonna make this my scent of the night oh i freaking love this perfume this is like apple pie with like a caramel filling that's what this smells like to me it's very sweet it's not cloyingly sweet i find it's to lean more feminine than masculine but i feel like a guy could wear this anyone could wear what they want to wear but this perfume is delicious i've had it in my collection for a while i will always buy this perfume a little goes a long way it's so highly projecting super strong it gathers a lot of compliments it's beautiful i've spoken about this perfume so so many times i'm not going to say too much about it but i feel like it's one of the best by swiss arabian matter of fact I think my favorite Middle Eastern brand at the moment is Swiss Arabian. I feel like their perfumes don't need to always sit and macerate. It just smells so delicious. And this one is one of my favorites. So that is Casablanca by Swiss Arabian. The next perfume is Shagaf Tonka by Swiss Arabian. This, 
is love at first sniff yes i got this sample from coco pebs i've ordered a full bottle it just hasn't arrived yet but the bottle of this perfume is sensational i love the packaging i love how beautiful this scent is it's vanilla it's almond it's sweet it's delightful it's amazing i love me a tonka scent but i don't get a heavy tonka from this this gives me an ambery powdery sweet addictive just so sexy oh swiss arabian are doing it right now there's a new one that's come out called toffee i cannot remember the name but i'll put the picture up on the screen the way i want that perfume i want it like yesterday but we can't get it here in the uk i don't know what this i don't know what's happening with these brands where they're just making everything available to everybody but us here in the uk we deserve some love too i want to get all of swiss arabian perfumes at this point apart from the original shagaf oud that is in a gold packaging it looks like a block of money like a block of gold um but that perfume was too much for me but i feel like every other flanker they've done after that has been really lovely there's only been two or three right but anyhow shagaf tonka is absolutely incredible trust me when i tell you it doesn't smell like cheap it doesn't smell sharp it's just beautiful it's just beautiful i highly recommend you guys to get your nose on it once again this is shagaf tonka by swiss arabian the next perfume on my list is camera kawa this probably is my second no actually my second third favorite middle eastern perfume of this moment right now this smells incredible this doesn't smell like anything else i feel like this is an original creation um this is a a really sweet less boozy version of the original the original is camera which a lot of people think smells really identical to angel share which it kind of does but i think it's still different like they're so different when you smell them side by side they're so different i feel like this one is definitely different from the original um this gives me like a milky like tonic like sweet and like caramel it's got a little bit of a nuttiness to it it has a little bit of a toffee vibe to it i layered this the other day with um sticky dates by lush guys the compliments that i got the compliments were flowing left right and center i love this perfume i want this in a gift if you've watched me my video when i first mentioned this perfume you know that i won it in a in a giveaway on instagram and this was kindly sent to me i love this perfume once this bottle is done best believe i will be getting a new one so that is camera kawa nectar of ecstasy like look at this bottle guys this bottle is so beautiful it's so vibrant it's so alive it's just stunning now what i get from this perfume is a lot of berries look at the atomizer i get a lot of berries like blueberries um it also has the acai berry it's a very very berryful <laughs> berryful it's really really fruity um it has some florals in the mead i think it has like freesia and it has sweet notes in the base and you get all of that this to me screams summer this is spring summer to me i wouldn't wear this during this time of the year but for those of you that live in dubai Funica, <laughs> you would absolutely love this perfume now you saw how much i sprayed it it didn't choke me this perfume is smooth to the nose this is really long lasting scent i've worn it maybe like three times and every time i've worn it i've had a compliment from my husband and that is hard for me to get because he smells perfumes all day like when he's with me when he's at home it's constantly smelling me smelling good as i do but when he gives me compliments that's when i know that it likes a perfume a lot and this one it loves on me i love this on myself i cannot wait to wear this more in the spring summer i feel like once it stays even longer in my collection by this time next year it's going to smell even better and for the quality of the bottle that you get and the scent inside honestly the prices are unbelievable anyhow check this one out if you have not already nectar of ecstasy i love the name this next perfume went insanely viral like everybody and anybody was talking about it and this is liquid brown yes i've had this perfume in my collection for at least three months and a bit 
and i didn't fall in love not so not so quickly like the way people were talking about it on tiktok on instagram on youtube i was like this is gonna be amazing and when it was sent to me i was like oh i'm not sure about this one but recently i picked it back up again and i tried it guys when i tell you <laughs> this smells so similar to altair it, it's so similar the only difference is the opening is less friendly it's not as it doesn't like ease you in but the dry down is really 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 stunning now this to me i would describe this as a sweet and cinnamon spicy vanilla and that's basically it in a nutshell again this uh, these atomizers are so beautiful oh, this is stunning it's very warm it's very spicy it's very addictive if you have not got your nose on this already i don't know what you're waiting for liquid brun by french avenue last but not least is hypnotic passion by nasim the one thing i love about this brand is that their perfumes are alcohol free this is so smooth to the nose this is super fruity so you have to like your fruity florals this is amazing and because it's alcohol free you don't get that super strong opening like it doesn't tingle your nose it smells so great the atomizer is fantastic ah oh, this is really really stunning um this to me resembles hypnotic poison so it's like hypnotic poison but soapy it's a super soapy hypnotic poison this is quite seductive quite soft quite feminine also quite musky it's so so lovely it's not as you'd expect like it doesn't smell exactly identical to this i'm just using it as a reference that if you like this they carry the same vibe the same feeling i smell a little bit more of hypnotic poison in here in the dry down the opening is completely different um, there's a play doughy thing that people complain about with hypnotic poison this doesn't have it, it doesn't have a play doughy vibe you get a super fresh soapy fruity floral perfume that smells incredible it has great longevity it will get you compliments i absolutely love so that is hypnotic passion by nasim so my lovelies that is it for today's video i hope you guys have enjoyed my picks comment down your favorite from my list and also comment down a middle eastern perfume that i should check out next thank you once again for watching please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i cannot wait to see you guys in my next video bye